I'm Anil Kumar sharing with you some videos on vectors and geometry. We'll try to understand equation of line with the help of this example. The equation here is write vector equation of the line whose Cartesian equations are x minus 1 over minus 3 equals to y minus 2 over 12 z equals to 5 and hence show that it is parallel to the line containing the points 5, 7, 9 and 4, 11, 9. Okay, so let's look into the equation of the line given to us, which is x minus 1 over minus 3 equals to y minus 2 over 12 and z equals to 5. Now, the standard form normally is, is kind of like this, x minus x1 over let's say a equals to y minus y1 over b equals to z minus z1 over c where a point p is defined by x1 y1 z1 right and the direction or slope you can say direction is given by abc abc however if c is 0, you cannot divide by anything. So you write like this. c0 means no change in z. So z is constant. Is it okay? So if nothing is there in the denominator, it doesn't make it 1. It makes it 0. Is that okay? So for the given situation, what we can say is we have a point P, which is 1, 2, and 5. Is it okay? So that's the coordinate of a point. And what we also have is the direction and the direction here is minus 3 12 and 0 is it okay with that we can give the vector equation of the line as so we have this point 1 2 5 plus t times minus 3 12 0 now you could also factor out 3 and you could also write this as 1 2 5 plus t times if I take out minus 3 right if I take out minus 3, I get 1. This becomes minus 4, right? And 0. Is it okay? So that becomes the vector equation of this line. I hope this part is clear to you. We do have the vector equation of the line. Now, let us do the second part. And that is, and hence show that it's parallel to the line containing these two points. So let's say the points are A, which is 5, 7, 9. And B is... 4, 11, 9. Correct? So what is the direction between these two? So let's find the direction A to B. Right? Let's find the direction A to B. So that will be 4 minus 5. Or you can do 5. We'll do 4 minus 5. Okay? 4 minus 5. 11 minus 7. And 9 minus 9. 9 minus 9. So that gives you as equal to minus 1. 4 minus 5 is 4 and that gives you 0. You could factor out minus 1 and rewrite this as 1 minus 4, 0. See, do you see that? So what we notice here is that the direction for both is same. Right? Since, since the, the direction vector for the line is equals to that of the line joining A and B, which is both equals to 1 minus 4, 0. I mean, they are parallel, right? So, they are parallel. So, that is how you could prove it. I hope that helps. Feel free to write comments, share my videos, and if you like, that would be great. Thank you, and all the best.